Hello everyone, this is Professor A.C. Dadho, Department of Horticulture, KKWA College of Agriculture, Nasik. Under the course of HOT 354, the lecture topic is a package of practices for growing aloe vera or aloe. Aloe vera which has again the great importance in a medicines. Guys, this video is only for educational purpose and not for any of the commercial use. Aloe or aloe vera has been known for its healing property for at least 6000 years. In the early days, the plant was known for being the plant of immortality and was presented to the Egyptian pharaohs as a funeral gift. Human have long known about the plant's healing benefits. Over the years, have been aloe vera, which is known as the burn plant and the lily of desert and also the elephant galls to help the treat wound, hair losses, hemorrhoids, digestive issue, etc. So in this way, the aloe vera has a great value. Botanical name, there are the many species comes under the aloe vera, but the aloe vera and the aloe barbadens, this species found to be very effective due to the presence of the medicinal properties. It comes under the family of the Liliaceae and more prominently we can say under the Xanthoraceae and Aspodelaceae. The origin place of the aloe vera, it is considered eastern and the southern Africa. For the medicinal values, mostly the gel containing its fleshy type of the leaves are prominently used. Apart from this one, its roots and the seeds are also used for the medicinal purpose. Then importance and the effective uses of aloe vera. Aloe vera have been used externally to treat the various skin condition such as the cut, burns and also the eczema. Aloe vera has a great importance for the remedies which we use for curing the many of the skin disease or the problems. It is suggested that the sap from the aloe vera ceases eases the pain and reduces the inflammation. It has antiseptic and antibiotic property which make it highly valuable in treating the cuts and abrasions. It can also be used as a hair styling gel to work especially well for the curly or the fuzzy type of the hairs. It is also used for making the makeup, moisturizer, then different types of the soaps, sunscreen, shampoo or the lotion means it again has a great value in a cosmetic industry. Aloe vera gel is useful for the drying skin condition, especially eczema around the eyes and sensitive facial skins. Its juice may also help some people with ulcerative and inflammatory bowel diseases. Aloe vera have been marked as a remedy for the cough, wound, ulcer, gastritis, diabetes, cancer, headache, arthritis, immune system defense, uh, uh, deficiencies and many of other conditions when taken internally. However, the general internal uses is as a laxity. So, means for the externally and internally it uh, useful or it acts as a remedy or cure many and the different types of the problems related with the human body. Under the cultivation, the types of the soil required for the cultivation of aloe vera. It can be grown in a wide range of the soil, but successfully in a marginal to sub-marginal soil having the low fertility level. The plant have a tendency to tolerate 
the pH up to the with a high, a high of the nitrogen sorry with a high of the sodium and the potash salt too. However, it is observed that its growth was faster under the medium fertile heavier soil such as a black cotton soil of a center of India. Though the well drained loam to the coarse sandy loam soil with a moderate fertility and the pH up to the 8.5 are preferred for its commercial cultivation. Then regarding the climatic condition, it has a wide adaptability and hence cultivation is a possible throughout the country and prefer the warm, humid, dry climate with 150 to 200 cm to 35 to 40 cm yearly rainfall. Varieties There are the several species of the genus has been in use under the common name of aloe like aloe vera lead, aloe vera barbadensis, aloe vera chinensis and many more out of which these aloe vera, aloe vera barbandis and aloe vera chinensis, these are found to be effective for the medicinal values. Propagation It is propagated by means of the root suckers or the rise of cutting. For this purpose, medium sized root suckers are identified and carefully dug out without damaging the present plant at the base and directly planted in a main field. Planting The soil should not be disturbed too deep as the root system of aloe vera does not penetrate below 20 to 30 centimeter. So in this way 15 to 18 centimeter long root suckers or the rhizome cuttings are planted with the spacing of 60 by 30 or 60 by 45 centimeter and buried two third portion under the ground. The sucker should be planted in the month of July August during the monsoon season to get the better survival in a field. Irrigation management The crop responds well to the application of the farmyard manure or the compost. So guys, this is about the nutritional manual. During the first year of the plantation, FYM at the rate of 20 tons per hectare is applied at the time of the plants uh, land preparation and the same is continued in subsequent years also. Guys, mostly related with the medicinal values, we can cultivate the medicinal value. We cultivate the medicinal plants without with too much recommendation of the chemical fertilizer to maintain the purity or a purity of the extract which we need or which has such a type of the medicinal properties. So in a aloe vera in this way only the uh, organic are recommended like the fire. Then the irrigation management. Aloe vera can be successfully cultivated both under the irrigated condition and also under the rain fed condition. Provision of irrigation immediately after the planting and during the summer season is uh, or it should be uh, ensure uh, the good type of the yield. However, the plants are sensitive to the water lock condition. So during the irrigation applications, such type of the care should be followed. But it, mostly this crop is considered to be hardy or the uh, plant which tolerates such a type of the water dress condition. Harvesting and the yield. So, it can be harvested by means of uh, mechanical method of harvester or by hand harvesting simply on the basis of cultivation area. So, leaving the fresh and the young leaves from the top, older outer leaves and generally we harvest. The plant can be removed manually or with the help of the tractor drawn disc harrow or the cultivators. New leaves grow from the center upward uh, or the offshoots are grown spontaneously next to the mother plants. Crops is ready to harvest after 18 months of the sowing. Economical yield are obtained in a 5 years after the plantation so that is uh, needs replanting. In India, average yield 
for uh, uh, organically grown aloe vera it is about 12 tons per hectare on the fresh weight basis so this is about the detailed cultivation practice of aloe vera thank you thank you very much